Hello again, this is Python in Excel part 7. We're looking at a bit more data cleaning today. I've got a Power Query over here. It's called TDF underscore finishes. It's connection only. And in this cell, I've got a Python cell where I'm creating a data frame using the Excel function connected to the TDF finishes query. And I've set headers equals true because the table has headers, the connection has headers. And on the next line, I'm using df.head15 and the head method shows me the first whatever number of rows from the data frame that I put into that method. There are blanks in the team column. I showed you how to do that the other day, but I'll show you again. And in the rider column, there's two pieces of information. I've got the rider name and the rider country within parentheses. That's generally not a, not a good idea for data management to keep two pieces of information in a single variable. So we'll split those apart into two separate columns and we'll remove uh, these bracketed numbers that appear after some names. Let's take a look at some of the cleaning that's needed for this data frame. I've got an empty cell here, an empty Python cell, which we're going to put some cleaning steps in. Below, I've got df.head15 to show me the fir first 15 rows from the data frame. First, let's take a look at these blanks in the team column. The way we can do that is actually really simple. We put df.team and we're going to assign to df.team with the equals operator, df.team.replace, empty string, and then the text, no team. It's as simple as that. So that will replace all empty string, i.e. blank cells in the data frame team column with the text no team. You can see that it's replaced them here. The next step is to split the rider column into two new columns, remove the parentheses and remove these bracketed numbers. The first line is creating two new columns called rider name and rider country. And we do that by passing a list of the new column names into the data frame index, which is indicated by these brackets. When you, by the way, in Python, whenever you see square brackets, it's either indexing or it's a list. This is the list of the new columns that I want. And this is the operation that is going to produce the data for those new columns. So we are working on the data frame on the rider column, and we are treating the values in the rider column as strings. And we are applying the split method to the strings in the rider column. And we are splitting on this. And we are expecting at most two values from the split. And we're using this expand keyword to expand the result of the split, which is ultimately going to be a list into separate elements to into these separate columns. Just a little note on this. In this uh, string dot split method in pandas, which is which is where we're operating, we can use what are called regular expressions. And that's indicated by an R in front of the text. The reason this is so bizarre looking is because when I was inspecting the data earlier, I found that the space that comes after the name and before the parentheses is actually a non breaking space, which means you can't just type a space and expect the split method to find it. And this code U00A0 is the Unicode representation of a non-breaking space. If you want to read about that, have at it. I'm sure there's plenty of pages on the internet. It's kind of a boring topic, but that's what this means. Um, I've got these backslashes to indicate that this is an escaped or a special sequence of characters. And I'm trying to look for a non-breaking space followed by an open parentheses. And since in a regular expression, an open parentheses has a special meaning, it defines a match group, I have to escape it with a backslash to tell the split method to treat it as a character literal. So I'm literally looking for a non breaking space, followed by a parentheses, I execute that creates two new columns. So Maurice Garin has been split into rider name, and rider country, but we've still got this closed paren at the end of the rider country. So what we, what can we do about that? I'm overwriting the values in rider country. This is a column that already exists, so I can use the dot column name notation. I'm overwriting those values with applying the string dot strip method to the values in the rider country. And I want to strip all occurrences of a closing parentheses from the text in the writer country column. You can see that the closing parentheses has been removed from writer country. Rodolfo Muller has 
a bracketed number after his name, and there are actually a few of these in the data set. We are overwriting the values in the writer name column, and we are taking the writer name values as a string and using the replace method with this regular expression. This regular expression means an open bracket followed by one or more of any character. The period means any character. The plus means one or more, followed by a closed bracket. And it will replace what it's found with an empty string. And we use regex equals true in string.replace. So you can see it has removed the bracketed number after his name. That's it for now. We applied a few cleaning steps to the text. It's surprisingly easy. You may be thinking to yourself, well, I could just do that in Power Query. Well, yeah, you could, uh, but you can also do it in Python. And now you know how. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.